Hi guys, it's James from Autosolve here. We're having a quick look this morning at an E90 uh, 3 Series BMW 2006 model year. The problem that we have is that we have no fan control. So if I show you the fan action here, um, customer's complaint, no fan. So what we've done is we've pulled some of the fan covers off and we've taken the lower cowl. And this particular vehicle has an issue with water ingress. So what we can see here is we've got water staining on the undercover that lives below the, the interior fan sure sign that we've had water ingress through the pollen filter and it's probably drowned the fan seized the bearings and that's why the fan's not controlling uh, straightforward enough yes it is but uh, the danger is that when the fan seizes it can also stress the final or the end stage the controller that work that sits on the end of my fan control panel purpose of the test very quick and easy to just check out the output stage of the fan the input stage of the fan control and the output stage just to see what's going on i'm going to show you two methods one uses the multimeter and the second method is going to use the power probe So I'm just going to bend down now, have a quick look. I'm going to get my power probe out. And the power probe is, you know, as well as a, a device for providing supply, it's also used for basic testing. Here I've got the fan control. I'm going to plug my um, power probe into fan control uh, ground. We can see that's good and it's um, green. Fans control supply, that's good, that's red. And then we've got a fan control uh, command signal. So this is what's telling the fan controller what's uh, demanded by the driver so this is a communication line the output stage of the fan controller down here if you can see the fan that's the direct connection to the fan we'll have a power and a ground down here um, and so when i probe each one of these there we can see that that's a a ground and then the one below uh, looks like it's a power we've got a slight glow on there so what i'm going to do now is measuring the output stage which we think is the supply if i adjust the fan speed what we're going to look for is the led that's sitting on the power probe should change color and then we can see it's gone from a straight green to a sort of red and green that implies there's a small voltage on there as i press the button again and increase the fan speed we can see that that voltage becomes stronger and the led is actually glowing a bit brighter until it goes all the way off and then back down the power scale so that quick and dirty test is actually showing me that the fan output stage is receiving, uh, sorry, is delivering a fan voltage to drive the fan. So what we can conclude from this test then is that we've got power and ground to this device on these two wires. We must have a communication line and that must be connected up here to my fan control. And then the output stage from this power stage, we've got a ground and we've got a supply which should be driving the fan. If the fan's not working, it has to be inside the fan. So a very quick and easy test with the power probe. Not just have we got voltage there, yes or no, but in this case, what sort of voltage have we got there? To be fully accurate, we need to use the multimeter. So I'm gonna clip my connector on the multimeter and I'm gonna turn my fan all the way off so we get no voltage, so the fan is off. And what we can see now using the multimeter, uh, we should be able to see the absolute voltage coming off that fan. 
So as I press the fan speed button here, and we start to increase it, we can see the multimeter increasing. Three volts, if I press the fan again, four volts, if I press the fan again, five, if I press it again, six or seven, and I press it again, we should get, then we have 8.79 volts. And that should enable the fan to whiz. So both tests quick and easy. If you're using a power probe, why we might use the power probe on this particular test is we might want to power the fan up. Again, the power probe is useful to seeing if the fan actuator is working. But um, as we've shown there, we've also got a very quick and easy test to show you what strength of voltage you have on a wire if your meter wasn't present. Obviously, the best thing is the meter, um, but the power probe can also be used in those quick and easy test processes. Thanks very much.